Bill asked the question that Muslims believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born without any biological father. But the Quran says, how shall, he, how shall Almighty God have a son when he doesn't have a concert, he doesn't have a wife? That's the Quran says. So these are normal things the Quran says. As far as the miracle of Isa alayhi salam, Quran says in Sulay al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 47, when Maryam alayhi salam says, Mother Mary, that how shall I have a son when no man, no man has touched me? The reply comes back, Angel Gabriel, when Allah decrees a matter, He just said to it, Be and it is. Similarly, in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse number 59, Allah says, Inna masala Isa in the like masala Adam. The similitude of Jesus in front of Allah is like Adam. That he was created from dust and said be and it was. So what we realize that Almighty God normally by nature human beings are born by mother and father. But to show the power of Allah that he can create even without a mother, even without a father, the example is Isa alayhi salam. Another miracle Allah did, created a human being without mother or father, Adam, peace be upon him. But the verse of the Quran saying that Almighty God doesn't have a son, neither does he have a concert, it means neither does he have a wife. And furthermore, Quran also says that if Allah begot a son, say, I would be the first person to bow down to him. That doesn't mean Allah has a son. It's saying that there's no question of Allah begetting because begetting is an animal act. It is function of lower animals of sex. That's the reason Allah will not beget. Allah does not require a wife also. Wife is required by us human beings. Mating is the function of no animal of sex. So these <coughs> verses of the Quran, that if Allah has a son, I would be the first to born, is negating that Allah can never have a son. Neither does Allah require a wife. So these are concepts of the Quran trying to say, don't belittle Allah by saying, Almighty God has a wife or has a son. It is not the dignity of Allah who is so gracious to have a son or to have a wife.